there was supposed to be a small army of volunteers to help plant American flags at the Gloucester County Veterans Cemetery today. But that army apparently surrendered to a cold, steady rain and brisk winds. 69-year-old Butch Kammer and his fellow cemetery workers did not wait for reinforcements. Rain don't stop anything. They never stop a war or any kind of fighting. They kept right on going. Kammer is a retired letter carrier who spent three years in the Army back in the 60s, served his time in Korea, and never forgot the experience. I'm a veteran myself, and I'm proud of what this cemetery stands for. Now he works full time, maintaining the grounds at a facility set up nearly a decade ago as a final resting place for local men and women who've served their country. On this day, the assignment is the placement of 1,500 flags set up just so in front of gravestones that remind us of the times and places and circumstances under which Americans fought and died. Butch, like the others, is cold and wet, but determined. The men and women that are buried here deserve it. Gloucester County freeholder Joe Chilla showed up today to dig holes for the flags. Monotonous work until you spot a special stone. So I just saw DJ Benz is buried over here. He was killed in Iraq the uh, first year that I was a freeholder. So, uh, you know, just actually, you know, stop for a second and say, there's TJ. And this is what he did for our country, you know, and he's here. Sunday afternoon at 1, Butch, his fellow veterans and their families will be back here at the cemetery, hopefully with better weather, for a very special Memorial Day ceremony. There'll be a wreath laying and rifle salute and taps, all the ways we honor our veterans on special holidays. Cameron says he gets angry when folks forget the sacrifice made by those lying beneath this ground. And so, on this weekend at least... We're going to make sure our veterans here in Gloucester County get what the, it's owed them. It is a debt that cannot be fully repaid, but should never be ignored. In Monroe Township, New Jersey, Bruce Gordon, Fox 29 News.